Hi, I'm Bill Bennett. Back when I first designed the Eagle Collar Closer, I did a video showing how to mount the collar closer onto the uh, rotary table. At that time, we used a generic collar chuck because we weren't manufacturing the collar chucks. Uh, since then, I decided to manufacture collar chucks so that we have a combined setup of the, both the chuck and the collar closer that work together. So now I'm going to do a new video on how to install the collar closer and the collar chuck onto the rotary table. Okay, so first we're going to take the collar chuck the way it will be delivered to you. And we're going to slide the draw tube into the rotary table hole up against the back face of the rotary table. Then we're going to take a one and a half inch 13 socket or button head cap screws and we're going to locate the first hole and screw it in until it pulls the collar closer up tight but back it off just a little bit, maybe a quarter of a turn. Install the two bottom ones. Okay, so the fourth bolt holds the air valve also. So you take the air valve bracket and put the bolt through the hole and temporarily tighten it so it doesn't fall. We have two plastic tubes that came with the collar closer. You have these slip fit fittings both in the air valve and in the college uh, closer. You want to take one end of the tube and push it into the slip fit fitting as hard as you can. Make sure it's going to the bottom and then do the other one. You really want to break loose the bolt holding the air valve and then bring the air valve up to the fitting and insert it. Then what you want to do is you want to move the air valve so that the tube is vertical so it's not on an angle uh, to prevent leaking. Then when you get that position, lock it in place. Then you can go ahead and tighten the balance of the cap screws. Okay, so that takes care of mounting the collar closer onto the rotary table. Now we'll swing the unit around and mount the collar chuck on the other side. Okay, so I'd like to point out something about the Haas rotary table. It has six slots on the face of the rotary table and three of them are longer and three of them are a little bit shorter. What I've done is went and manufactured some T-nuts that have a rounded edge so that they will fit into the shorter slots and allow the bolt hole to align with the bolt circle in the mounting plate. So we can slip uh, one of the rounded ones in that slot and another one in this slot. And then let's take the mounting plate and with the uh, counterbores facing out, slide it onto the draw tube. Line two of the counterboard holes with the rounded T nut and we'll screw those down. What I do is when I'm putting one of the regular T-nuts in, I stick a bulb in, let it drop on top of it, and hold it in place. Then pull out the bulb a little bit and 
slide the T-nut down until the screw can push against the face. That'll hold it in place. Then with your finger, you can just push it down until the hole meets the bolt. Then you can tighten it up. Okay, so the next step is to take the, this is the collet adapter and the draw tube adapter, and they're fastened together with some shoulder bolts. And the reason for that is, is you know, it, it allows it to move, so when we do the concentricity, it can bring it into center. So when we screw the uh, end of the draw tube adapter onto the draw tube, screw it down as far as it'll go, and it locks up. Okay, next we're going to mount the collet chuck. And what I'd like to point out is, this anti-rotation screw, you make sure it's backed out so that the collet won't interfere when it's going in. Uh, also, the four concentricity screws around the outside diameter of the collet chuck need to be backed off enough that they will slide over the mounting plate. So we'll slide this onto the mounting plate. I'll take one of the longer 3816 cap screws and you'll rotate the collet chuck until you pick up one of the tapped holes. Screw down until you touch the face of the, pull the collet chuck up against the face of the rotary table and just back off just enough that you're still able to move this when you adjust the screws. We'll put two more of these in for the sake of the video. I'm not going to install all six to save time. Tight. Back off. There are several ways you can indicate this chuck in. Once everything's mounted in the machine, you can set up an indicator and using your rotary table to rotate, you can dial in when using these four screws your concentricity. Uh, the other way is if you take a collet and install it in and put a set of pads in there, like these are three quarter pads, then you can take a piece of three quarter material and close your collet and indicate the uh, the bar of material to get your zero reading on your concentricity. Okay, so once your concentricity is dialed in, then you will want to just slightly tighten these screws up and move around. You're trying to not lose the concentricity that you just dialed in. And now we're going to install the collet. Take the collet and slide it in. You have to pick up the collet adapter. Screw it in by hand as far as you can. Now, I've manufactured a collet wrench for the S26 and the S20 collets. Sometimes when they get in, you're a little hard to grab a hold of the edge here with your fingers. So what you can do is take this collet wrench and take it the balance of the way and then lock it at the bottom. So now you want to take your anti-rotation screw and get it into the slot of the collet. You have this pin that comes with your collar closer, which you can stick in to the far side of the draw tube. And I'll uh, swing this around and give you a shot of how that's used.
This is the collar adjustment pin and it goes in these holes on the end of your feed tube. And you can use this to rotate the collar in the front so you can line the slot up for your anti-rotation screw. Okay, so I have the pin in the end of the draw tube and as I rotate the collet with the pin, I can get it to line up with the anti-rotation screw. I can see the slot in the collet is right here, so as I move it closer, and I can take my wrench and gradually screw it in and turn Okay, we're lined up. I'm going to screw that down tight. Okay, so now I'm going to hook up the air supply. Hundred pounds is what we usually use if you have something that's. Uh, you feel you need a little more pressure on it, you can take it up to 120. Uh, so now that the uh, collar closer is hooked up to the air supply, we'll Okay, something I want to point out is about the collar adjustment nut in the rear. This is the collar adjustment nut. Once the whole thing is set up, if you rotate this up against the washer, this collet adjustment nut will take all the extra play out of the collet as it's moving back and forth. It won't move so far. And there's a small brass pad. Here it is right here. It's actually in the hole where the uh, lever screw uh, tightens up on the threads. And this brass pad is a thread protector. So if you ever remove this collet adjustment nut completely off the feed tube, this brass pad is going to fall out and maybe get lost, so keep that in mind if you ever remove that. So what you do is you uh, adjust this against the washer and then just tighten it down finger tight against the bare brass pad which will push against the threads and it doesn't take much to hold it in place, it's not something you have to over tighten. Okay, so this is the collar closer, pulling the collar in and out, three-quarter bar material and a three-quarter pad. If you feel the collar's coming out too far and your collar adjustment nut is locked up against the washer, what you can do is keep levering the collar closer back and forth and put your hand on the nut and each time you do it, rotate it a little bit more. And it up as much as possible. Something else I'd like to tell you about is uh, something we're sending out with our collar chucks. It's a, it's a ring that you can mount. Uh, what you do is you take your collar chuck off and you put this ring in the bottom of the collar chuck and then you take your collar adapter and screw it into your collet and then you put your pins in your emergency collet and you tighten it up and that locks your collet in place and you can take the whole chuck and mount it on the table of your CNC mill and you can mill out any kind of a pocket to hold an odd shaped part. That all comes with the collet chuck. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope it will be helpful to you. Uh, if you have any questions, give us a call and look for our next video.